Welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. Had some uh, picks there that may have gone against the grain. But you know we, we known to do that around these parts, and uh, I see no oh, uh, yeah. better time than right now to continue that trend in faith. Let's kick it let's off. Let's go against the grain. Let's go. Let's go against the grain. Let's go against the grain. So this week I'm gonna start it off with my number one thing. I think the driving limit age should be the same limit age as the retirement age. You should not be able to drive anymore after you reach the retirement age. These old ass drivers is dangerous as shit out here, and somebody needs to do something about it. Yo, you wild for that. <laughs> do about something like, about, about like a 55, 65 year old person that's still completely lucid, drives perfectly, has no issues whatsoever. So when you yeah, get to test. retirement age, you should no longer be able to drive. <laughs> they got Uber. They got Uber. They got this is the age of technology. Your old ass don't need to drive no more. Man, they all fixed. Say your ass where you need to go and let somebody else drive you. They're gonna be broke. Be hungry as fuck. Yeah, oh, 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 okay, I have a solution for. I have a solution for that. Got a solution for that. Come up with our elder Uber. A Uber designated for old uh, old people. You feel me? Since they way. can't drive no more. I would. I would. I would drive elder Uber. Uber that would be the fun. And the Uber. Uber. They, they, got Uber. That. they got that in their insurance. Old folks gonna be they got like a little shuttle for the for the jig. But here. it's my thing. Everybody don't want to be on a shuttle. Everybody don't like everybody. Sure. When you get older, you don't want to be dealing with other motherfuckers. You just want to get in the car and go much better. But since you can't drive no more, you can go on your elder Uber app, tap ride, they take you where the hell you got to go, bring you back, go home in the fucking house. Don't what let is, these old motherfuckers drive, man. What After is, what, what is, is it? What's the time you 65? 65, you're done. I don't know, man, because I don't want to end up driving my parents around. Still, and I, I still might want to yeah. drive around when I'm 65. So, like, what Hell if we have Uber. them take a test? Take a I test. They that. pass the test. It's ways, it, it's ways to cheat the test. They owe as shit. <laughs> they didn't they rememberize this shit. Come on, they memorize how they memorize this shit. Nana, when you on. when you get to retirement age, yeah, your, your your license is retired. They need to hang that shit up like the jersey. Hang that license up like a jersey, goddamn. You're done. I don't know about that. Yeah, but yeah. I would definitely say at least have it so like every three to four years you gotta renew your license. And when you mm-hmm. renew it, they just okay. go back. I work with you. Or nothing like that. Like you got. I work with you. Retake a whole driver's test, and it ain't. I ain't talking about the written test. I'm talking about like you got to go back on the road and have somebody check off that like you ain't out there driving 20 miles an hour in a 50 mile an hour zone and like swerving. Okay, I, I, I work with you. Because I'm gonna be I the old man. You. It's like, hey, so, nobody ever drive for me a day in my life. So when that. you reach 65, you got to have. You got to have a four seasons test. You got to come in to the DMV once you reach 65, once every season. So you can prove you can drive in every fucking type of weather. Oh, I'm definitely, you, I'm you definitely coming on the solstice and the equinox. I'm coming right on the on the cusp. Oh, I'm coming <laughs> to the day after a boat, all four. Got you. No problem. We're going we're gonna to get two of these out of the way in, in, to, to, in, in, in two days. Bow, bow. Take done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I see you again in six months. Hit these two days. You being crafty <laughs> enough to realize oh, with that. and come in at that time. I should get a pass just because I'm crafty enough to think about hey, it. If they think about it, think about it. But shit, my number two. Um, a lot of people are gonna be mad, but lace fronts and them fake eyelashes look silly as fuck. Take that shit off, man. <laughs> That's just me. That I, is my unpopular thing. It's a popular thing in the world, but guess what? It like, looks I'm not silly mad. as fuck to me. Lace nice fronts and them fake ass eyelashes. The motherfuckers do like this. Hell, like you got caterpillars on your face. You can't see through them shit. Why the fuck? What's the purpose of that shit? I don't. I don't get it. Oh my like, God, you want long? Right? You want you want you want cartoonishly big eyelashes to walk around 
no one grows the eyelashes that big. You you can't. They want them. It's not physical problem. So you like, you, you, you Betty Boop just want that goddamn big. Like goddamn, you you want to your eye and start hurting. Your eye. You're like I'm like what the what what the fuck? Like if one of them shit get in your eye, you fuck. You fuck. Yeah. Take that my silly shit off. in my eye and it hurts every single time. Imagine I, 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 I can put these lace fronts on, lace front on, and I ain't got to wear my hair for what. Yeah, you can look silly as fuck for a fucking while. Everyone knows you have a lace front on. And that's, your forehead don't look like that for real. Come on now. Yeah. This shit looks silly. Take that shit the fuck off, man. Just because it's popular don't mean it's only popular. Because a few motherfuckers started doing it, anybody want to tell their ass nothing about it, everybody else just caught on. Stop that silly shit. I'm going to start a rumor on lace fronts. You know? I'm going to start a rumor. I'm going to say COVID came from lace fronts. Boy, you a fool. Mm-hmm. Blue monkey. I'm going to say COVID. COVID front. I'm going to say COVID. COVID came from lace fronts, y'all. See, Ooh, motherfuckers stop wearing them. She got on that bed wig. Mm hmm. Take that the shit the fuck out, man. So, what y'all got for against the grain this week, man? Oh man, I got you. Um, my first one is: don't call me unless it's an emergency or at least something serious. Just text me. I hate talking to people on the phone. I don't want to. I don't want to pick up. I don't want to have no small talk moments. Like, if it's something serious, cool. Let, let Let's get that conversation going. Like, we got some action we can jump into, or at least I, I'm listening to something that feels like it got some gravity to it. But like. People who like to just call and be like, hey, how you doing? I'm just calling to check in. Check in on what? You could have sent me a text. <laughs> you, you good? Yeah. And we, we've checked in. What, what are we discussing? Like, what? Do you have anything to discuss? Or at least call me and have like something cool to talk about. Like, hey, did you see that, uh, that basketball play? Or, hey, oh my God, they got this new movie coming out. I think you love it. And, 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 and have some shit that you excited to talk about. Don't call me to just ramble on and we just on the phone. Like, I don't call my fucking phone. I know it's a phone, but I'll be honest with you. I ain't like talking. On, I stopped talking on the phone when I was about 17. That was the last year that I was like in high school. And that was the last year that I was like on them little calls like that. After that, I started pulling up. The most I do is, hey, I'm on the way. Hey, bro, I'm on the way. Hey, Charlotte, I'm like, it ain't none of this. Man, what the fuck are we talking about? Don't call my fucking phone. I don't know if that's against the grain or not, but I, I hate phone. I agree. Just text me. It I want you to get my way pages. Like, just, just, just send it to the man. You're with me. Give me the option if I, I want to talk. I must concur. I do not like verbal conf- calls man i don't i don't like verbal calls man like I, I don't i don't see the purpose for them like unless it's an emergency or unless you need like t- t- tell me something like if you just call and sit on the phone like hey i just call four man i just want to come up and see what's up hey, i mean I mean, it's shit up. So, people call you people call you and be like hey what you doing what Chilling. Um, I'm not doing shit. What the fuck are you doing? I'm not just want to call you. So you just want to call and see what the fuck I'm doing at this moment in time. That don't seem weird to you. And you just wanted to call and see what the fuck I was doing. Did you okay. did you want to do something with me? Did you why? did you have something you wanted to discuss with me? You wanted to go somewhere? No. So why is what the fuck I'm doing right now? No, don't call me with needless conversation. Call me with conversation that has a point. Let's get to a point. Let's discuss something. If you got a problem, let's have let's figure out a solution together. But I agree. Don't call me on the bullshit. Yo, I, I'm the worst because I got anxiety and shit, and I'm an introvert, and I'm like kind of socially awkward unless I feel like I'm face to face. Like face to face, somebody I'm a little better. I can read stuff. I can go off of what you're doing. I might have, you know what I'm saying? But like I'm not naturally a talkative person. I'm a good responder. So if you're asking questions, if you if you excited about something cool, I'll roll with you. But I'm not a good initiator of conversation. So like, trying to comment with the small talk, I'm just kind of just on the phone, quiet as hell, just. And I don't mean no harm. I just really don't have nothing to say. Like, I don't know what to talk about, especially. Oh, I hate these ones. Y'all ever have somebody? We just left each other. <laughs> 
So like we went to the movies, we went to an event, we went to a party or something. We are everybody said goodnight. We we peaced out. And then they call, yeah, man, what's going on? Look, we just talked. We just saw each other. So Oof. now we we done we done caught up. You saw what I was just doing. It's literally nothing for us to talk about. Like you can't even ask me what I was doing today. You was just with me. We, 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 yeah. Think about what you did. And then and then replace me with you. I don't know where to go with them. Or you're on the way to my crib and you're calling me to, to talk to me. Why are you talking to me on the way to the, we gonna talk when you get here. What is the phone necessary for? Did you want to sit in silence when you got over here? And that's why we talking now? Because um, that's what's gonna happen if we have nothing to talk about. Like, oh, yeah, my thing you. is, I, I hate when people call you for you to try to start the conversation. Motherfucker, I ain't had nothing to talk about. Nothing that's why I ain't call no. I, nope, I was in here quiet as hell until you called me. Yeah, what well, do you that, want to talk about? You, you, you call. You feel me? The call is initiated by the person, by the person who has a purpose in the call. If you don't have a purpose in the call, don't initiate said call. Please don't, because that's a waste of said call. Save that call energy for someone who is call lucky energy. enough to get that call. You feel me? Like save that for those people. The thought was good. The thought is welcome. Thank you. Appreciate it. But don't do it. Just don't. Just don't. Just don't. It, 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 you can text it. And, and, and this is my thing. Text it. I understand why people don't like to text because people read as they think people are trying to say it instead of just reading it for the what it is. I understand that. But that important to get lost in translation, then you call. That means it's something exactly. It, it must be exactly. an important message. Common exactly. everyday mundane conversation don't get misconstrued because we either joking or it's just general, hey, what's up? Yeah, you good, right on. Like it, it ain't a whole lot there anyway. I can't I can't read what's up. I'm like, oh, this nigga, this nigga fuck a week. So what's up? How you doing? I can't read that like that. So Okay. Then you can't stick to text. Email is is other forms of communication. Oh, something, something. I don't call my mm-hmm. smoke signals. Send me, send me a carrier pigeon at them. Hey, beat on the drum. Don't send pigeon. him whatever. Don't send him a carrier pigeon. He's gonna shoot it. He's gonna shoot the yes, pigeon. Yes, I will. Yes, yeah, I will. Like bird. Oh, yes, oh, I sad. Oh. Sad note. I was I was about to go to sleep last night and I heard some weird shit toward the back of my house. I was like, "What the fuck is this weird noise?" I was like, "It's an animal or something on my house." So I looked out the back door, like in the laundry room. I I don't even use it. I've never even used that door, and I've been in this house for like seven years. <laughs> I looked out the window down my back stairs. There's two cats fighting their motherfucking asses off on my back porch, like they okay, locked spider. up. Yeah, they yeah, they must be fighting the ass off. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking at my I'm looking at my dog. <laughs> now my dog in the house with me, I'm looking at him, he looking at me like shit, you hear that shit. I ain't going out there. <laughs> so I'm like I'm like, like man, I, I was like I was like, all right, I'm gonna go lay in the bed, man. I ain't fuck with these cats. But I I could still hear them from the bed. From all the way in the back of the house because they that damn loud. I was like, shit, I can't steal this shit. I go look again, they still there. So I go get the BB gun <laughs> and the dog. I was like, now we're gonna go outside, nigga. We're gonna go on the porch to see what's going on. We open the door, them niggas run. I'm like, I right, bet. So as soon as I put him back in the cage, now he got to go piss and shit. He goes around the front of the house. Now he now he Mr. Scary because he can't see where the cats them went. This motherfucker every day. Well, we hear the cats in the woods, but we I shoot one of them, but he don't sound like he a small cat. He sound like he a big cat, like one of them mountain cats or some shit like that. So I was like, okay, let's go ahead and piss and shit and get back to the fucking houses. I ain't dealing with shit out here in the dark because I ain't got oh. so many lights, in this motherfucker. Niggas. Got yeah. up this morning, went to the backyard. I seen cat fur everywhere in the goddamn yard. Like these motherfuckers was really tussling out this <laughs> But that's my side. I see cat fur everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you had like two jaguars in your back. 
I yo, it's a black and white, it's a black and white cat and a motherfucker look like a feral cat. The motherfucker was going just on the back, like my back stairs, just because yeah, I got a two tier back steps. The motherfucker was going at the back there. I was like, what the fuck is going yeah. on? I was sitting there looking at him because, of course, I was high as shit. So I'm looking at the motherfuckers for like a good five minutes and on the porch fighting. I'm like, yeah, yeah. motherfucker, just don't, as long as you don't come up the stairs, you good. But yeah, they kept getting loud. So I was like, now nah, I got to try to shoot y'all. I was like, to shut y'all up. Bobcats. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. It is Bobcats out here. I wouldn't be surprised. With Bobcat a uh, fat ass regular house cat uh, or, or regular whatever. Can't say alley cats because they know alley's out this bitch. So wood cat. Yeah, wood cat. But out there, you're like, no, nah, that's a nigger cat out there. That ain't one of them uh, domesticated suburban cats. <laughs> That cat from that's, that's, that's top cat. Yeah. That's, yeah. We have clips. It'd be shit out here because the motherfuckers going hunting. I say you got hunting dogs. Like, niggas be having like six hunting dogs. Well, if all the hunting dogs don't come back, but if one didn't come back, they just, they just leave that motherfucker. You know? <laughs> it's wood dogs to be up here. Now they, now they just loose dogs. <laughs> yeah. Country life. Shoot them. Actually, oh, I, yeah, it's an off-camera conversation. My last against the grain is uh, I just hate that we have to be gentle to be socially acceptable. Uh, we should be able to say things however we want to as long as there's no disrespectful language or intent. I'm tired of being nice. I just want to be real. Being yeah, nice is I getting guess. frustrating. Yeah, man, it's socially acceptable shit, man. It's getting on my damn nerves. Some shit just need to be called what it is, and, 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 and that's that. Damn it, shit. That, damn it, I don't mean no harm, but that's what it is. I'm mean, trying to keep naming shit, new shit every week, and learning new stuff, yeah. learning new terms. I can't keep up. All this shit. I can't mm-hmm. keep up. Then I refuse to try. Some people just got to put on their big boy or big girl britches and uh, stop being so goddamn sensitive. Or if you're going to be sensitive, be able to at least, you know, understand that, like, that's life. Everybody ain't gonna agree with it. Deal with it. Please, people, understand this one fact, which is true in all cultures. Your personal feelings are yours to care about and only yours to care about. At the end of the day, 99.99999% of reality don't give a fuck about your personal feelings, but we're made to care nowadays. Don't give a fuck about your feelings. Don't give, give two a fuck shit. about your feelings. And it I used am to be in my mind. Point nine point nine 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 of reality. <clears throat> like, don't nobody give two shit about your feelings. Or oh, man, nobody. Else. It's all about respect. As long as I'm respecting you, respect me. That's about it, man. I don't yeah. give a fuck about your feelings, man. Some hurt your feelings. That's up to you because I don't know where your where your boundaries lie, and it ain't up to me to dictate or find out where your boundaries lie because I'm not that emotionally connected to you or indebted to you. So fuck it. At the end of the day, tuck your emotions in. Then your mama teach you start wearing your emotions on your fucking sleeve. Yeah, fuck your emotions would be like curtain tail. Your emotion should be like shirt tails. Tuck the motherfuckers in, man. Shit. That make your drawers bunch up. <laughs> now, if you get them Hanes, you know, the, uh, the non-bunchy ones. You feel me? Like the shirts that don't crunch them up? You tuck them shits in, they just stay in place. Oh Is God. that what they call on the package? The non-bunchy? I got to look for the non-bunchy. Non-bunchy Hanes. <laughs> I oh, forgot what the name of them shit called. Uh, no. I know Michael Jordan put in the commercial for them shit when they first came out. I'm gonna get some. Just they 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 on the <laughs> Give me a box of a product. Um, I guess my guess grace. Um, I really didn't have too much time to prepare for the against the grains, but here's a few things to get on my goddamn nerves. Um, there we go. <laughs> First of all, as Tiz would say, I really don't think I have to be socially acceptable. I think at a certain age, you shouldn't even care. I think at the third, you, I, I really, I don't, I don't think you should even care past thirty. I think Fuck. past thirty, you just, fuck, I don't care. Just thinking, just think about oh, how old people act. Old people do not care about shit. 
even shit they should care about. <laughs> man, at a certain point, man, whatever's gonna happen, mm-hmm. happen. What would be, what would be. Mm-hmm. Other yeah. thing. Other thing. Just because someone says you're pretty, you might still be ugly to me. <laughs> ugly as hell. <laughs> it might be just one thing. You might have a double chin. It, it might be something. I don't know. But for some of your personality or whatever, you might be fine to me. It's still it's ugly as shit. Or you can't dress. Yeah. And it's horrible to see yeah, a woman that's fine as hell that can't dress. There's been plenty, plenty in my in my heyday of girls or females or women, you whatever you want to dictate the man is that people say, Oh man, she fast. Like, nah, you don't see her teeth. <laughs> <laughs> like shit like that is important to me. Like, what's well, like you got to smile at me. I don't, I, mm, shit. Other thing. Um just because I have known you in the past. You ain't my friend. I don't know you. We don't talk on a normal basis or whatever. You, shit, I don't even know your Facebook. I don't even care to know your Facebook. But, Remember we was at the well, thing. We went to the same thing together. Remember we was at the thing together. The thing with each other. Uh, and, and and you know, man. Let me be honest with y'all, man. I smoke weed. It helps my anxiety. And also, I don't have a good memory. I do have a good memory of stuff that I really want to and remember, talk on a regular but a day. lot of stuff I don't, I don't even care about. Fuck about your feelings. In your memory. Um, and this is my last thing of random stuff that gets on my nerves or whatever. Um, I think I, if you want to augment your body, augment your body. I don't care. It's your body. It's your choice. But leave your face alone because y'all be Y'all be doing these Botox and messing with your face, and all y'all have the same face. There's a lot of Instagram women out there with the same exact damn face. It looked like a modified <laughs> Kim Kardashian. And a, uh, blow up dolls <clears throat> around that look exactly like with the same the lips, same. brows, same makeup, same dress. It's like, same squinty eyes, same yeah. narrow ass nose. Ass Place or whatever. And they went and to the closet the, and pressed default. And then you got the, the bimbo ones that look yeah, like the bimbo yeah. five version of that. Uh-huh. It's like a calm version. It's like a Kim Kardashian version. And then there's like the like cartoonified bimbo version of that. Or whatever. The but they all end up six. when I buy something. I want something personalized. I want something that represents me or whatever. It ain't gonna have me looking like somebody else. How y'all with your face, something that's supposed to be distinctive so people can un- like figure out you from the next motherfucker. Y'all all look the fucking same. It's like a female Goonies from the Popeyes. From, you know, Popeyes that's when they had the Goonies point. with the same face and shit. That's the point. That's the age of I can look like what I want to look like. So if they find somebody they want to look like, guess what? They can mimic everything down to the bone structure that they want to nowadays and look exactly yep. what they want. Like it's, it's, it's people out here with cosmetic surgery to make them look like Barbie dolls. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know, matter of fact, like, it, shit like it's a bonus. I, I, mm. It's a bonus fuckery for you, man. There's a it's some dude in Brit Britain, and like I'm gonna look it up. I add it up to the next fuckery or whatever. But this dude is trying to be transracial. He's trying. He's turning from a Caucasian man in England to his favorite K-pop. Korean singer and he's doing the plastic surgery to look exactly like him and they even and he just got backlash because he said he's going to get penis reduction so he can have an authentic Korean penis that's a bonus fuckery for y'all that's how weird it is out here in these streets you know like I, I, I said like this before he came out with his transracial shit, I brought it to the podcast first. Before I brought that transracial shit to the podcast, um, Childish Gambino brought it to the show Atlanta first. Transracial shit. I don't know if you watched the episode or you haven't seen the show, 
with the black okay. guy um, with the blonde wig and the glasses. Talking about he was a white guy, a forty year old white guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I I didn't want to even live. Well, remember, um, um, Rachel. Mm-hmm. Remember, remember, uh, Rachel Dollars. What her name is? You know, I mean, oh, yeah, Dollar Rachel Dollars all or whatever that she was playing mm-hmm. like she was black and she was really white with a tan. It was in charge this of the right here. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Cool, I don't know what's going on with the world. I just want the world to realize they going fucking crazy. You feel me? Like, shit, we going too fucking far sometimes. Just chill the fuck out. All this extra weird shit ain't needed, man. I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, I'm not sorry for saying it's weird because it's weird to fucking me, and that's my opinion. If you like it, cool. This could be the best thing in the world to you. Cool. So I ain't offending you. If you are offended by my comments, oh well. Stop wearing your feeling in your fucking sleeve. Shit is weird out here these days, man. And it's only getting weirder. I hate it. Boy, I, I'm going to love to, but I'm going to hate to at the same time see what the world looking like in like another 45 years. There's going to be some crazy shit out here, man. Mm-hmm. I'm going to love to see it because I'm, uh, hopefully God allows me to be alive to see it. But I'm going to hate to see it because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be reminiscing like, why shit can't be like this? Why? I, I know, but shit is weird now. It's going to be weirder, man. Mm-hmm. 